My grandmother was one of those that picked up coal by the side of the railroad tracks in an effort to try to keep her family warm in the winter. My, um, my dad was responsible for filling the coal stove in the morning. My great aunt said that on Saturday night they had their bath, Saturday night bath once a week, ick, <laughs> and put on long wool underwear and she said that's, it was itchy, nasty, long wool underwear under their clothing and she said that's exactly where it stayed till the next Saturday night when they had their next bath. I spoke to three of my friends yesterday, it's a cold day in the Midwest today, and they all told me that they were freezing cold, trying to keep their heat turned down a little bit. Our utility bills have just skyrocketed in the last 15 years. We're paying, most of the people I know are paying close to $400 a month for gas and electricity now in modern, aver modest, average size homes. Um, I have been thinking about the fact that my friends are dressed in layers. I'm sitting here with a jacket and a blanket on my lap right now. Our windows are not that great. But I've been thinking about uh, some of the things that we've done in the past to try to take the chill off of a room when you just can't seem to get warm no matter what you do. We um, have in the past noticed that when we were, I'm not using this right now, but when we were using a oil lamp, it's a little dusty, such as this. There's an amazing amount of heat that comes out of the top of the chimney here and radiates from the glass, but especially out of the top of the chimney. And we really noticed when we used it on a regular basis, we'd use them in the daytime even just to take the chill off of a room. That was very effective. And also, I think that's why people burn candles. They put off enough heat to take the chill off of a room. Um, some people use hot water bottles at night. I have taken when I'm trying to dress after a shower. Sometimes I take my clothes and toss them in the dryer for a few minutes to, to get them warm. And of course layering layers of clothing wool and down are very effective for for um, staying warm. And so if worse comes to worse and you can't get warm, you can take your down coat and throw it on top of the, of the blankets at nighttime. And also I bought a wool blanket a few years ago. First time I'd ever had a wool blanket. and um, I don't know what we do if it ever really got cold because it's like 70 degrees in my house at night type most of the time and I still put the wool blanket on top of my other covers to keep me warm and um, I heard directions before I have not done this myself but you can take a sock any sock, big sock, small sock, red sock, blue sock, whatever you want and take a bag of rice and pour the rice into the sack and then find a effective way to close the sack up. I don't know what you want to try to do. Tape it or probably not tape it. That would not be a good way. Find a way to close the sack up so the rice doesn't come out and then you can microwave this for a few minutes. The sack full of rice or you could you could use two sacks and you could have two warmers and you microwave them and I think it was I don't know how many minutes you might want to check that out Google it but I know it was at least three minutes to um, warm up the rice and they stay warm for quite some time so you could use that as a bed warmer in the old days they used to take stones and heat them up either on the wood stove or in the fireplace and slide the hot stones between the um, blankets at night before they got into bed Another thing that I was not aware of for a long time is the the blue gel ice packs that you keep in your freezer. Some of those can be heated as well and can be used as a hand warmer, foot warmer, bed warmer, what have you. Uh, I will probably never feel secure until I have a 10 acre wood lot and an outdoor furnace which only has to be loaded twice a day to heat a nice size home or um, what do they call those, a soapstone stove that you can have indoors or both. I'd like to, and a fireplace would be good. If you've ever seen the fireplace at Cracker Barrel, that's the one that I want. If I ever get wealthy, I'm going to have someone build me one. So try to stay warm this winter. Take a 
rice sack heated up to bed if you want to. You could put one on your tummy and one on your toes. One on your nose. No, not really. So let's do what we can to try to avoid uh, being cold and the risk of illness that comes with getting chilled. That's debatable. Some people say that's not true. That's my helpful little hints. It's not much on the topic, but it's a little. Molly Mormon, goodbye for now.